Hello guys, it's Lukey Pass, and today on FIFA 13 Play Reviews, we have upgraded our Sharabi, it cost about 30k on the PS3 and Xbox, I got mine for about 28k on the Xbox in 4-3-3 formation. It used to be a centre attack in mid or centre forward, you can see on the left hand side, his inform was a left uh, wing left slash left forward, and that's what they've done to his upgraded card, he's got a plus 5 overall upgrade, his pace has gone up by a few, and his shooting has gone up by 5. Key stats, 94 curve, 84 long shots with 89 ball controls, pretty nice. He's got the flare trait and he's also got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. Uh, medium attack work rate and low defense work rate. He's 5 foot 9 and he's right footed. Uh, moving on into his in-game stats, some um, good good mix of skill attributes with uh, the yellow, green and dark green in there. Obviously some red to do with defending. Um, I'm surprised about his work rates. After watching most AC Milan games this season I thought he'd have uh, different work rates. But uh, I was really disappointed with his men mental attributes, so that, that was what I was disappointed about. But um, moving on to the player, his pace is actually pretty decent. Uh, I'd say it's probably about 86, 87 it feels like. Dribbling is really nice, I absolutely loved his dribbling. I hardly used his 4 star skills because I didn't really need to. It was so easy to dribble with, you know, just beating a player, uh, running down the wing and just you can cross the ball in, you can beat a player and just taking a shot. He had a pretty nice goal record for me, 7 goals in 6 games is uh, nice. His shot is actually pretty powerful and his finesse shot is uh, really nice, you know, his finishing is decent. So you could play in left forward and he'd do pretty well there. Hit the crossbar a couple of times, so um, that was a bit unlucky. And he is a weak player, so you know, you're going to have to use skill and pace to get past players. You're not going to power through players really, but um, you know... His crossing is decent, so that's good as well, playing on the left wing. Moving on to his bad points. His shooting was so inconsistent. He did all the hard work, and it just, I don't know what it was. I just couldn't crack his long shot or something. I don't know if it was me, or because I watched Itani's review, and his long shot seemed really good, but I just couldn't score a long shot with him. I'm, his shooting was so inconsistent. He was amongst the goals, but he did all the hard work, and... He should have scored a lot more goals. I don't know what that was. I was closer to going out for a throw in than a going in. He should have scored a lot more goals. I was really disappointed with his um his shooting overall. You know, with the chances cre he created, he should have scored a lot more. I mean, that doesn't look like a player with 94 curve. So a bit of a mixed uh, thoughts on this player. He just seems to do all the hard work, but just doesn't just doesn't have that overall finesse really. So his strength, his pace, he's got a powerful shot with decent finishing, really good dribbling with four star skills. That was a really good thing about him. And he's got a nice cross on him. His weakness is he's weak obviously. He's got a, such an inconsistent shot. I don't know what was wrong with him. Seven out of ten because bearing in mind he did score you know he did have a good goal record for me, but phew, he could have scored a lot more really. He seems to do all the hard work and it just lacks that finishing touch really but um I don't know, maybe it's just a thing of playing a few more games with him. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. I want to give an honest opinion about him because sometimes he's good, sometimes he's not. But uh, yeah, uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. It's been looking at you, Have a good day and goodbye.